Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is my money diary. I first want to start this video off by saying thank you, thank you, thank you to the 40 people who have subscribed to me over the last couple days. Um, that's just so exciting to me that there's 40 people that are interested in my journey that, you know, are supporting me on my, you know, goal of financial freedom. I am just so appreciative that you guys, you know, want to see me win, that you want to see me be successful on this journey and that you're just following along with me. Like, that's incredible. So thank you so much for just taking time out of your day to go ahead and subscribe to me to watch my videos and follow along um just i appreciate it from the bottom of my heart um those of you who um, are not subscribed or you're just now um coming across my channel i welcome you with open arms um i am new to youtube and i am just tracking my journey to financial independence i'm planning on saving money paying off debt and just being smarter with my money. So if any of that interests you, please, please go ahead and subscribe yourself. Um, if you make videos about saving, um, saving money, paying off debt, anything financially, go ahead and leave your channels below because I would love to follow you. I would love to check out your journey to root you on and just to see um, the success that you have in this upcoming um, year of 2022. So this video, I thought it would be fun just to go over my retirement accounts with you guys so you guys can um, see my starting points and see how investing in the stock market can truly change your life. Um, I have been working for five years, so I've had a big girl job now for five years, so I've only been um, investing in the stock market for about five years now. Um, it wasn't until last year that I really got into it, um, really became serious about my finances and my future. Um, so yes, yeah, so this, um, the money that I'm going to be talking about in my 401k, that is about five years of, um, worth of money saved up. Also, um, I work part-time. I'm not a full-time worker and I work part-time because I want to, I don't like working. Um, I don't want to work if I didn't have to work I wouldn't but I work part-time I have a small daughter at home that I'd rather be with um, and I just my goal in life is just to not have to work not have to worry about finances not having to work for somebody else um, not having to depend on a paycheck to live that just doesn't sound fun to me so I want to be financially independent and retire early so fire now if you haven't heard of fire please google it please go on instagram google fire community go on here on youtube and search fire community um it's a whole community and it stands for like i said financial independence retire early so i want to reach fire i don't want to be 55 65 70 having to work to be able to survive that does not sound fun to me so hopefully i'm fortunate that i would be able to you know live that life to be on that path of um, retire retiring early but because i work part-time it might take me a little bit longer to reach fire so my goal is to be able to retire by the time i'm 50 hopefully i would be able to retire way sooner than that but i do not want to work past 50 years old so in order to be able to um, retire at 50 now like i said it, this is a whole community um, there's calculations that you can do to figure out what number you need to invest in the stock market to be able to retire at whatever age that you want to retire but my goal is to um, be able to retire at 50. So in order to be able to retire at 50, I need to have $1.75 million invested in the stock market. That's a huge number, but I want to make it happen. So follow my journey and see, um, see my progress. Um, so $1.75 need to be invested into the stock market and able in order for me to not have to work and to be able to um, 
have a withdrawal rate of 4%. So taking out 4% of the money that I invested in the stock market, pull 4% out, I'll be able to live on that 4% while the rest of the money that's in my um, investment accounts continue to grow with com compounding interest. I'm not an expert on this, so please don't ask me any questions specifically about this. Um, your best bet is just to Google it. Um, once I, you know, get more familiar with things and um, become more comfortable, maybe I'll be able to answer more questions about it. But as of right now, that's the basic of what I know. Um, so yeah, so I need 1.75 million. So we're going to see what my starting point is, where I'm starting at. So in my 401k account, I am starting off with 85,000. Four hundred and twenty dollars and twenty-eight cents. Okay. Now this is, you know, through my employer. It's pre-tax dollars that are automatically um, put into my four hundred one k account. Now um, you are able to max out your four hundred one k. I believe this year it's twenty thousand five hundred dollars. Now in order to max it out, you have to set your um, percentage of your contribution um, very high so in order for me to be able to um, max out my 401k so to reach that twenty thousand dollars um, twenty thousand five hundred dollars I would have to set my um, percentage that they take out of my check at like 40 percent and uh, I can't do that right now so my percentage is ten percent um, after I pay off my credit cards, I'm going to move my percentage up to 15%. Now, um, so this is pre-tax dollars. So next is my Roth IRA. Roth IRA is another type of um, investment retirement account that is post-tax dollars. So you put post-tax dollars into this account, you invest in whatever you wanna invest in, and then when you reach a certain age, I believe it's 59 and a half, once you reach that age, you can withdraw the money that's in this account and you don't have to pay any taxes on it because it's post-tax money. When you reach retirement age or a certain age and you're able to start withdrawing money for your 401k, you have to pay taxes on it because the money that went in here was pre-taxed. So it's really good to have a Roth IRA account because whatever... Um, you put in and whatever interest you gain over time all that is yours you don't have to pay any taxes on it the only thing is is the limit to this is six thousand dollars that's all you can contribute to every year so i plan on maxing this out so i'm making contributions that total six thousand dollars um and my starting and i just started this last year i opened up my roth ira last year i fully funded it last year so i put six thousand dollars in it so i'm starting off with six thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars and eight cents so just by um having my money in my roth ira i've already gained seven hundred and twenty dollars i put in six thousand i gained seven hundred and twenty when I become of age and I take this out, I don't have to pay any taxes on it. This is all mine. So these uh, two accounts, I am investing in mutual funds. Now I'm not an expert, so I'm not gonna tell you what to invest in, please do your research. Um, but I'm investing in mutual funds, okay? Now, once I max out my um, Roth IRA, I still want to you know, contribute money into for my future, for my retirement. So I decided to open a brokerage account. Now this brokerage account is pre-tax, or is not pre-tax, but um, this brokerage account, once you put in money, um, whatever you, whenever you decide to take money out, you have to pay taxes on it. So the only thing with this is um, when you take the money out, you have to pay um, taxes on it, on whatever you gained, okay? so. Um, also, you can take money out of here at whatever, whenever you want. There's no like penalty for, you know, taking it out um, a year from now or a day from now. You don't have to be a certain age to take out money. 
these two, there's there's age requirements, okay? You, you take out money early from these accounts, you're going to be penalized. You're going to have to pay a penalty. This, you don't have to. Now, like I said, I'm still new to this. I'm not an expert. I hope that's right. That is my understanding of it, okay? But please go ahead and Google it if, you know, if you have further questions. So, um, my brokerage account. I am starting off with $663.64. Now, like I said, these two accounts, I'm going to be only investing in mutual funds. In my brokerage account, I want to dabble in investing in individual stocks. So, Facebook, Apple, Disney, um, Pepsi, whatever. I just want to start um, investing in individual stocks. So, I'm going to dabble in it a little bit in my brokerage account. So my plan is to have put in at least $12,000 in my 401k, max out my Roth at $6,000, and my brokerage at least $1,000, okay? Now, this one is another 401k account. This is kind of a little side hustle job that I have. They offered 401k, a retirement plan, so I just signed up for it. Even though I don't really work at this place, I decided to sign up for it. So if I did do any hours, I could, you know, contribute something. So this one does not have a lot of money in it at all, but it's better than nothing. So I have $65 and 68 cents. Okay. When I leave this job, I can roll over whatever money is in here into my 401k. So when we add all of these up, we are starting off with a grand total of, let's see, $85,420.28 plus $6,720.08 plus $663.64 plus $65.68. So I'm starting off with a total of $92,000. $869.68 in my retirement accounts. Now, like I told you guys, my goal is to eventually reach um, $1.75 million. So this is our starting point. Not bad for five years. Um, so we're going to see how much we can make this number grow by the end of 2022. I'm hoping to have it grow to at least $125,000. And then maybe at the end of the year, I'll do some calculations to see what my percentage is, like how far I am away from reaching $1.75 million. So every two weeks, we'll come in. I'll um, update you guys on what I added to my account and my ending balance. And I think it'll just be fun to see like how much your money can grow when it's invested. So I think that'll be fun. Also, I have a daughter and I am starting to save for her future as well. So I also opened up her, opened up for her a minor Roth IRA and a custodial brokerage account. Now this minor Roth IRA is for when she, so she cannot touch this money until she's like 59 and a half as well. So, but when she does pull this money out, it's going to be all hers. She doesn't have to pay any taxes on it. So, um... So if she's like um, earning any money by doing work, so she's a baby, so she's not, you know, working, but if a friend wants to use her to like model clothes or to practice taking pictures on and they compensate me for that, I'm going to take a portion of that money and I'm going to put it in her Roth IRA because it's working money. When she's older and she's able to do chores and I pay her, I'm going to take some of that money and I'm going to put it in her Roth IRA because it's working money. Um, and then when she's a teenager and she's, you know, has a, a job, then I will take some of that money and I would put it into her Roth IRA. Okay. But I also decided to open her up a custodial brokerage, which is the same as, you know, our brokerage and start investing in individual stocks for her as well. So that way when she's 18, I can, um, this account is going to be released to her and she'll have access to those funds and hopefully, um, I would have taught her well about money and she won't touch that money and just let it, she'll just continue to invest and hopefully this way we're able to build. So I'm hoping to just 
help create generational wealth for my family to set my daughter up for her future and just allow her to be able to have a life that's full of abundance and freedom um so she is starting off with $795.08. Okay, so this is our beginning retirement numbers for 2022. So just go ahead, if you're interested to see my progress, you're interested to see how much your money can grow in the stock market, um, please go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions, like general questions, not s any specific questions about like stocks or the fire journey or anything like that, just leave them below. And I would love to know, like, are you investing in the stock market? Have you started? Do you have a 401k account? Um, I, I just want to know what you guys are doing. So yeah, so we'll check in in two weeks see how much progress I've made. So please go ahead, like I said, go ahead and just subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.